Hey, what is up guys, Ryan here, otherwise known as Symmetry HD, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create stencils. Now I posted some stencil work on Twitter, and a lot of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on it, so here it is. Uh, but before I start today's video, I want to encourage you guys to leave a like, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button on screen to help me on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Anyways guys, let's jump into the video and let's get to work. Now before you start creating your stencil, you obviously want to pick out a logo or something like that. Now for this, I chose my own personal logo and I printed it on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And it doesn't really matter how big it is, it's all up to preference and how big you want the stencil to be. Uh, before creating the stencil, you're obviously going to need a couple things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need that's important is an X-Acto knife. Um, these are important because if you're going to be cutting it with scissors, you're, um, you're not really going to get clean cut lines and you're going to get really jagged edges so having an exacto is very important. The next thing you're going to need is a ruler of some sort just to, so you can have straight edges. Um, if you have rounded edges you can also use a French curve um, if you have one. I don't personally have one but uh, that's always an option. Uh, Sharpie just to keep marks. Duct tape is optional um, but these are just stuff I use for to create my stencils. Um, and the most important thing you're going to need is you're going to need stencil blanks. Now these, this one ran me about 350 for two sheets. As you can see, uh, they're nine by 18, so it's a long sheet of paper like that, or not paper, laminate. And it's kind of just like I said, it, it, it's like laminate paper. And let me just show you a piece before I rip off a new one. As you can see, oh, it's just like clear laminate paper. That's all it is. And um, yeah, so this one came with two sheets and it comes in multiple sizes. Um, I think the biggest one was like uh, 12 by 24. So um, it's all up to, you know, whatever you want it to be. So I'm gonna take out the first sheet of uh, stencil blanks. And I'm gonna line it up. Like I said, as you see here, it's just a clear laminate sheet of paper or not paper, and um, I'm just going to line it up to the top right hand corner of the paper, and then I'm going to just use um, the masking tape here to tape it up. I might fast forward this bit just so I can move along with the tutorial quicker, uh, and uh, so yeah. Once you have it all taped up, as you can see here, I just made a simple boundary box around it so when we cut it out, it's trimmed down. So once you have it all trimmed up and ready to go, um, you can start uh, trimming it. So I'm going to fast forward the process here. Um, but uh, like I said, all you need is an X-Acto knife and a ruler and you'll be good to go. So uh, I'm just going to fast forward this bit and when I'm done, I'm going to show you my results. So as you can see here, we have the stencil and that's uh, what we are looking for. So um, once you're ready to do this, uh, you're pretty much ready to spray paint and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. So once you have your stencil cut out, it should look something along the lines of this. Um, you know, you can give it as much border as you want or really small like I did here. I don't have much around the edges. Um, that's what I prefer. Um, now you can pretty much just put it on anything you like. Um, I just have a small block of wood here and I'm just going to uh, spray paint it onto here. So I'm just going to lay it down here in the center. And uh, put my spray paint. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of spray paint you use. Um, I'm just using my Arlac uh, spray paint. Um, that I have, but it really doesn't matter. And uh, now you just gotta let it dry, and uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like in a bit. So once you're done spray painting, uh, you know, it's all about technique and uh, how you do it. So 
you know, after some trial and errors, you can uh, get some really cool effects. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button on screen and uh, help me on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you later.